Tyler starts us off in Lexington, Kentucky. Hi, Tyler. How are you? I'm good, Dave. How are you, man? Better than I deserve. What's up? Um, I work for a craft bourbon company. I am the tasting room manager. My department has five employees currently, and our 2023 revenue was 378000 Um, My question for you is, I'm the manager at this company. This is a family-run business that my brother works in, and my mom is the CFO of the company. My tasting room opened to the public in 2022, and in our first year, we had about 1,500 guests, and we're looking at about 13,000 this year. Wow. Um, We're currently building a new $5 million facility, and we will need to go from around five staff members to looking at 15 people, and our revenues will need to double from the looks of it to stay profitable. Uh, what's your advice to deal with some of the pressures that come along with that? I'm a, uh, I'm 25 years old, so I'm feeling a little bit of the pressure regarding this. So, well, the way you explained it was very thorough. You sound like someone that's got control of what's going on today. Yeah, I do feel like I have control of what's going on today. I'm just worried about moving to this new place of just making that work and not letting down my family mm-hmm. and in the process is, is just kind of how I'm feeling. Okay. Well, I mean, there, there's always the risk that something will go wrong at the new place, but basically what you're describing to me is, is that you've been successful at this level, growing it uh, percentage wise, astronomically. And now we're going to do it again. Um, you'll be leading more people that's probably your biggest um, area of concern. Uh, but the actual, you know, the place really doesn't matter. Um, I mean, the fact that it's a new building, that's all on them. That's not you. You're just going to go in there and, and serve the customer bourbon and have a team that does a good job doing that and create the customer experience. So, um, yeah, I... I uh, the pressure would be if you felt if you were incompetent, if you didn't have the strength to lift the weight that they're giving you to carry. But I I think you've got the strength. You've described someone that all we're at, all all you're being asked to do is more of what you are already doing, and they're giving you the resources to do it. Right. Yeah. I mean, to to me, the same amount of emotional expenditure to serve uh, 1,300 guests with five team members. If we went to uh, 10 team members, then obviously we could do five or 10,000 guests, and the only difference is maybe a few logistical things. Okay. But it's still the same exact exercise. We're just doing more of it. And so I think you've got what it takes. I don't think there's any issue. So as a young leader, what I'm always wanting our leaders to do and what we always teach in Entree Leadership is leadership is a service position. Your job is to knock down blockers, anything that's in the way of your team doing their job. And that includes incompetent team members, getting them out of there, or uh, 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 bad people inside the mix, spoiling the barrel of apples. We got to get them out of there. Your job is to help, I assume, hire and get the good ones into the mix so we don't get in such a hurry hiring that we hire a bunch of donkeys and then wonder why we can't win the Kentucky Derby, especially since we're in Lexington. So, um, you know, you got you to do that right. And so your job is to build a bunch of thoroughbreds into a team and point them at customer service to create this unique, fun bourbon experience in the heart of bourbon country. Um, Sounds kind of exciting. I think it's very doable. But your job is just to serve them. How can I, you know, what what have I got to do to make their job work as smooth and as quick as possible? They got to be able to bring you ideas and problems, and then you got to help them solve them. You may send them back to solve them. You may actually solve them. You may have to take them to the CFO, which happens to be your mother, and say, I need some, you know, we need some funding over here. We're, you know, we're, 
we're running through glasses. Uh, we're running through Karen's way too fast. And I, I need some more cases of that. I got to have two dishwashers instead of one in this thing. Y'all planned it wrong uh, to get to be able to get the stuff back up on the counter and keep everybody moving and keep the customer happy. And, you know, and we've got to look at staffing through these certain peak hours at a different level. And we can staff down during some of the doldrum hours or and or seasons. I'm sure this uh, has something to do with fall break and spring break and summer and so on. So those are the kinds of things you're looking for. And uh, I'll give you a, a recommendation. Uh, my good friend that spoke at the Ontario Leadership Summit uh, last year, Will Gadera, did a wonderful book called Unreasonable Hospitality. And uh, we will actually send you a copy of that as my gift to you. I want you to read that book. Uh, it'll blow your mind uh, because he's ran one of the t he ran the number one restaurant in the world. And talk about creating a, an experience. That's what they did. They created an experience, unreasonable hospitality. And if you can get your team to read that book with you, and we all commit to creating an unreasonable hospitality experience in this craft bourbon brand new facility, man, there's nothing going to stop you. But your job is to serve your team so that they can serve the customer so that the employer is happy with both of you. And, and if you can do that, you've been, you've been a great young leader or old leader for that matter. My job as the CEO of Ramsey, one of my biggest things is I got to go around here and say, all right, there's a, there's a thing that only I can knock down. No one else can knock that down and it's holding my team back. So I got to knock it down. I got to take that problem away from my team so they can go and get their job done. And I'm, I'm just the man to do it, you know, because I'm a leader and that's my job. So that's what you're looking for, Tyler. And so hang on and we'll pick up, we'll get you a copy of that book sent out to you. It's a great book, great read for all of you out there. We might even need to get old Will on here as a guest one of these days. He's just phenomenal. This is the Entree Leadership Podcast.